In today's Lightroom Quick Edit, I'm going to show you how you can take a very boring and pretty bad snapshot that was literally taken from a bus and how you can turn it into a decently nice picture just like this one at the end in just under 5 minutes. As you've seen in the preview, we're going black and white here because there aren't really any interesting colors, also it's just a little bit too bright and I'm also going to bring down the highlight slider, which really has a huge difference here. At the same time, I'm going to bring up the shadows by 100 so I can bring down the black slider by quite a bit and get a very contrasty picture while at the same time not clipping any shadows. Then with the clarity, I'm actually going to go a little bit into the minus overall and then right away grab an adjustment brush with some plus clarity just for the foreground right here. Really just a little bit so we have some differentiation from the crisp foreground into the kind of hazy distant background. Then let me fix the horizon straight away. It's just a little bit cricket so that will work a lot better. Then down here, we don't really have too much time to go into all of these, so let's just go into the effects right away and add some vignetting. Really want to make sure that the midpoint is more towards the center and that everything looks nice and natural. Then I'm going to go up and grab a graduated filter with some minus exposure, drag one over the foreground so just that foreground gets a little bit darker and creates differentiation in the lighting that way. And I'm also going to grab another one for the sky just like this and also increase the minus exposure and why not even grab even another one just for the very top of the sky rise here and make this even darker so we really have a nice framing of the whole picture. But what's really missing is a little bit of white in my opinion for the overall picture but also a radial filter with some plus exposure and some plus whites and that is so I can place it right here and I just want to make sure I angle it correctly. I'm actually going to go into the extreme here so I see what I'm actually doing. By the way, you can hold down the old key and just drag one side of the filter larger. And here, the thing that I want to do is kind of create a bright spot in the distance right here. So your eye goes from the foreground into that bright spot. But I also want it to kind of radiate some of that brightness, so I want to make sure that it really looks natural and also has a nice size and angle to it. So then I'm going to go back into the exposure, bring it down to a level that is actually feasible, maybe even mix that with a little bit more minus clarity and just mix plus whites with plus exposure and I think that actually works pretty well. It's a little bit on the bright side but I think it does work for this kind of picture. So now let me just quickly show you from before that one filter and after you see it's really a huge difference and adds so much to the picture. But then I might even grab another rail filter, this time a very small one and just make this very very center spot right here even brighter so it really works with the rest of the exposure. Then I'm really quick gonna grab an adjustment brush with plus contrast minus blacks and just draw over some of these structures right here. I'm just gonna press down the O key so you can actually see what I kind of do. And this is very fast, maybe even a little bit smaller so it doesn't really affect everything because the, the whole idea here is just to create a little bit more of a texture and a little bit of differentiation with the contrast and blacks. And if I show you, of course, this is way too much, but you see what I'm going for here. If I bring that to a more feasible level, it really makes it look quite interesting. And I might even go with the mines adjustment brush just by pressing down the old key in between and refine that a little bit more. So before any adjustment brushes, here's after. I'm actually going to grab another one just with the exact same effect, just not that much here. And also go over some of the areas right there and make them a little bit more interesting. Maybe that didn't really work that well, but here on the houses towards the right, it really does work. Then let's add another adjustment brush real quick and add some dodge and burning. Usually I like to do that with the rail filters, but we really don't have time here. And I'm just gonna add some bright spots over some other areas right here, for example. So it just kind of complexifies the whole lighting scheme. And if you do that, always wanna make sure that your feather is at 100. So everything looks very natural. And I'm just gonna paint over some of these areas. And then afterwards, just refine the actual value and make sure it doesn't look unnatural. 
but rather increases the actual interest of the whole scene in a natural way. Then let me actually add a little bit more right here and I think that's pretty much all I'm gonna do. Maybe I'm just real quick gonna go back to this graduated filter on the sky and decrease the exposure even more and while I'm at it I'm also gonna real quick go to the rail filter right here, this very big one and maybe even mix that with a little bit of dehaze, although really nothing crazy. So it looks even more faded out and perhaps also kind of adjust the actual sliders in terms of the brightness here. And actually speaking of the last thing to do, I'm gonna grab another graduated filter real quick for the very bottom right here, make this even darker. And then I think I'm gonna go back to the cropping and actually make this even straighter. So that was pretty much it for this five minute quick edit. I'm done here. I'm actually pretty happy with how this picture turned out. And if we compare the before right here to the after, it's quite a big difference. Again, this is just an idea giver and what you can do with Lightroom. I would of course suggest you not to shoot terrible pictures like this in the first place. Thank you very much for watching and let me know what you thought of this video by either leaving a like or a dislike. Until the next episode, take care.